Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Madness Manor. Welcome back to today's little video vlog. It's a bit of a touring bike fest. I'm doing a job on my house guests, warm showers guests, touring bike. The gears are going back together. I'm going to do some stuff on my touring bike. It's sort of touring bike day I guess. Um, let me show you what I've done in preliminary work on here. You've seen the gear hanger on the previous video, which is broken. The new gear hanger is in place. It's a threaded through axle. That will have to be torqued to 11 newton meters before the bike goes back on the road. And what I have done, I've replaced the plastic ferrule here. I have the cable hooked behind the rack. And I've been dropping lube down the cable that's been soaking through this morning and I've also pulled back the cable on the gear shift pulled the ferrule back and I've dropped some lube down there so the, the cable's going to be nicely lubed the nice thing about this bike and it's often a two-edged sword with, with regards whether they should or shouldn't is it has four length cables which a touring bike goes out in weathers where you probably wouldn't go out on a bike in normal daily use but when you're on tour you don't have a deal of choice so I think it's quite good it's got um, full length outer cables so that's where I've got to there gear wise I have done a dry set on stops high and low stops and B screw um, this is one that came off B screw is bent actually so I've, I've I've done a dry set on that. So I've set these, I've counted the threads and I've set them roughly to how that one was just to give me a guidance of where it's going to go. The next thing is the, the derailleur will go on the hanger, the wheel will go back in, we'll set the limits to the um, so it doesn't go into the spokes of the wheel. We'll see if we can line up the, the jockey wheels with the with the cassette by eye, then we'll fit the chain and hopefully we'll get some gears so we'll film i'll just film a little bit but i'm not going to film everything and i won't be i won't be doing any torque wrench settings as of yet that will come very soon as soon as i get you set up there so let's get Let's get on with what we're doing. What will you do? You put the new one on. I've got a rather... I've got a rather clean toolbox at the moment. In fact, I'm going to show you. Let me show you my toolbox. Look at that. Look at that. I said, look at that. It's a clean... That's a rather clean bike mechanics toolkit, don't you think? Spick and span and all that. No rubbish in the bottom of the box. Well, there is actually. I've already started to accumulate rubbish in the bottom, bottom of the box. So let's drop this one here. Like I say, torque settings will be uh, will be set. Some point soon. And I shall lube it afterwards as well. I shan't lube it. Lube it now. It's probably, I'll tell you what, let me bring it back when I've let me bring it back. So we've got the wheel back in, the chain on, everything. Goes round and round as it should. It looks like it's been lubed with um, dry lube. Another issue I've found, which I've got to address, which I'll probably get it in the wheel stand and have a look, is if you can see here. We have a significant 
wobbling the wheel. There was a slightly bent spoke and there aren't any broken spokes, so we, we're looking in that respect. But we're certainly getting there. I've put a new cable end on, so all I've got to do now is adjust the position of the gear in and up and you look at the um, the B screw and everything else and we'll go from there. Happy days. I'll bring it back when there's more to report. It all seems to work. Just uh, see if you're lined up there. And here we go. I see videos where they go click, 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 click through the gears as fast as everything. That's you don't want that. Get it nice and steady, one at a time. It's nice and steady down the gears, up the gears. It does want a bit of adjustment. It actually wants some lube on the chain. I'm going to check with it is dry lube. I'm going to just double check, make sure it isn't an organic lube or anything like that. Although I have used, I'll show you what I've used myself in a minute. So it's important that it just clicks through the gears, nice and steady. as if you're riding and when you're riding you don't change gear with full weight on the pedals it did have anonymously then it went down a couple of gears so there's definitely a finite, finite adjustment there's, hello there's definitely finite adjustment to be had there's still a bit of a a wobble on the wheel, nothing major, that's going to go in the wheel stand uh, the wheel stand is in the winter cell on actually I've lubed it up, I've lubed it up with my normal TF2 all purpose cycle oil but I haven't done the chain because I'm sure the chain is is um, lubed with dry lube and I don't want to put wet lube on and dry lube the only thing I found is what they call the dort disc, I don't know, I shall leave it on, it, it does rub on the chain when it's freewheeling but only, only a little whisker these great things, these reflective things are brilliant but these drainers run so close to the spokes on these 12 speed bikes that really it was too close for comfort for me so I shall put these on the non-drive side of the bicycle so she's got a full set of these on the on the wheels doing the job for safety it is a cool bike it's done it's done for now other than lube the chain and I've checked with the lady that owns the bike that she does use dry lube or make sure she doesn't use some sort of organic lube because you never know although I haven't used organic lube in the gears um, so that's it essentially there's still a repair to do on the mudguard stay you're gonna have to sort that out probably backtrack and see if it's in the hedge bottom where all this happened um, I'm, I'm, I wasn't going to mention this because it's a downer all of this mechanism you've just seen me go through the gears all of that all of that strain goes through that that may as well be made out of plasticine I'm going to say, it's not a rant, but shame on you, Kona. Shame on you, all bike designers, builders and engineers. And people have said, oh yeah, that's a safety if there's a problem with the gears. Yes, it is a safety. It could be strong enough. This bit here, this dropout, which is, this is supposed to protect, will carry rider, luggage, bike and abuse on the trail. That does not need to be made out of chocolate. Other than that, what a cracking bike. I shan't show you the bike because it isn't mine to show. But thank you for just watching what I did 
to help my um, warm showers guest out and this is in a way of uh, I believe how warm showers should work you people can offer skills share skills like skill sh skill share this jam down our throats our adverts on YouTube you don't need skill share you just need people who can help thanks for watching guys